Citizens of the Internet, welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm your host, Jeff Kanata, and you are watching one of our mini episodes. On Thursdays, we deep dive into these stories, so be sure to check back then for our longer show. But right now, let's get into the headlines. Amazon has a new video demonstrating their updated drone delivery prototype, and they got Jeremy Clarkson formerly of Top Gear, to help show it off. Clarkson sets the stage, telling the story of a future little girl who needs a new pair of soccer shoes. Her family places an order on Amazon, and over at the local warehouse, a robotic arm loads up the package into the drone's fuselage for safekeeping. The drone then takes off vertically, and after reaching a certain height, switches to a more plane-like mode. The video also describes sense and avoid tech on board to make sure the drone doesn't hit anything, and multiple designs for varying types of environments, so your precious cargo isn't ruined by a little bit of rain or heat. A landing pad placed by the customer tells the drone where to land and can be rolled up and stored when the drone heads back to Amazon's warehouse. But a big piece of that puzzle is the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration deciding exactly how it will regulate unmanned aircraft for retail companies. I love this idea. I'm ready for this. But can you imagine a sky full of drones? It will blot out the sun! Then we will shop in the shade. Speaking of shopping, do you have 60,000 bucks lying around? Then I got a deal for you. That's how much Nokia's Ozo camera will cost if you want to take one home. That's right, Nokia is officially in the VR game with its 360 degree camera. It's an orb shaped device with eight cameras on board, which records stereoscopic 3D video while integrated microphones simultaneously capture spatial audio. Nokia hopes the device will be a boon for them on the film and gaming front, giving filmmakers and game developers the opportunity to create high quality content that can be viewed in various VR headsets. It's a big bet for Nokia, especially considering flagship headsets like the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift haven't hit retail shelves yet, but they seem pretty confident the Ozo is worth creator's time. The big competition for Nokia is GoPro's collaborative effort with Google, the Odyssey, which has 16 GoPro action cameras and is part of Google's jump hardware and software suite. Also, it doesn't hurt that it costs a quarter of what the Ozo costs at only $15,000. That definitely sounds like a lot for consumers like you and me, but in comparison to something like the RED camera, it's actually right in the same ballpark, so we'll see if this catches on. Now it's time to talk about holograms. Touchable holograms. According to Reuters, Japanese researchers at the Utsunomiya University Center for Optical Research and Education have unveiled what they're calling fairy lights. The system uses femtosecond laser technology to fire ultra-quick, high-frequency pulses in a specific shape. Those laser pulses can be interrupted by touch, so when a person interacts with the shape, it changes. Before, touchable holograms used laser beams that scorched a user's skin. Ouch. But now the laser they're using is safe to interact with. The lead researcher on the project thinks the tech could be used for a variety of industries, like entertainment, architecture, and medicine. Currently, the holograms are very small, but the team appears to want to scale the size of the laser used and the space it's utilized in over time. Science website Pulse Headlines mentioned the possibility of a beamable hologram keyboard, and also video where the people communicating could experience their touch. We all know which industry is going to run with that idea, right? Greeting cards, you perverts! Come on, get your mind out of the gutter. Speaking of entertainment, it's Tuesday, so it's time for new releases. The video game releases just keep on coming, including Just Cause 3, uh, Just Cause is the new game from Avalanche Studios about chaos on a grand scale, blowing stuff up. Man, I've been having a lot of fun with this game already. Also, Rainbow Six Siege comes out this week if you want to rescue some hostages and destroy some environments. This one adds destructibility and lots of really cool online modes. Check that out. And the Wii U is not going to be forgotten, at least this week. Talk about epic games on an epic scale. Xenoblade Chronicles X is out this week as well, proving that if you want to invest lots of time into your consoles, the Wii U is also there. Hey, you want to go to the movies? How about getting scared by Santa Claus? 
Krampus is out this week, which promises to add a horror element to old Kris Kringle. So many games, so many movies, man, this is the best time to be into media. I'm jumping on that Just Cause 3 tip. I'm uh, exploring and blowing things up and wing suiting around. I think I might pass on Rainbow Six Siege. It's just not really my jam, but I'm very curious about Xenoblade Chronicles, so I might check that out as well. And Krampus, can't go wrong with that. Speaking of not going wrong, we got a new photographer of the day today, so let's check that out. Today's photographer of the day is John, who took this picture with his Nexus 6. John says, this picture was taken with my Nexus 6 at Hillcrest Stables in Lolita, California. My daughter works with a horse there, and I always get a boost when I go to this beautiful place and get to be around horses. Of course, you have my permission to use it on your awesome show. Thanks for sending in that picture, John. You know, anybody that might say that picture is not good, you know what I say to them? Nay. Come on, Logan, why the long face? That was, that was a good joke. All right, if you want to be our photographer of the day, we'd love to see your picture. Send it to tomorrow at cnet.com. Give us permission to use the photo on the show, and be sure to tell us what device you use to take the photo. We love knowing that. That's going to do it for this episode of Tomorrow Daily. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can always find us on Twitter and Facebook at Tomorrow Daily. Uh, you can also find me personally. I'm at Jeff Kanata with two N's and one T. You can also find Ashley Esqueda at Ashley Esqueda and Logan Moy, our producer, at Logan Moy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Until then, be good humans. Oh. Oh. Oh.